Okay, let's get to our stuff on like walking and getting in, getting in the field. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's get to our stuff on like walking and getting in, getting in the seat. Getting in. Okay. Yeah. This is tech, right? Yes. The battery? Yes. Yes. Uh, action. What's up everybody, my name is Gio. I'm a 20 year old Christian hip hop artist out of Boston, Massachusetts. If it's a dream of fairy tale, then let me wake up. Uh, growing up, I always had this passion for writing, uh, especially creative writing. I can think back to kindergarten where we would make these little poems and it would just be my the favorite part of my day. So growing up with that, uh, I started realizing that it could be a tool used to spread the gospel. Growing up in the church, I've always had faith, but it wasn't until my high school years where I really developed that relationship with God. And I began to translate that onto paper through my writing. And so around high school, I had a couple moments where I was like, okay, this might be more than just a hobby. I think this is something that I could use as a tool to help others um, through my experiences. So. That's always been my goal through music. That's why I'm so passionate about it, is because I see it as a way to not only spread the gospel, but to help others through my experiences. To dream a fairy tale to let me wake up. Shawty, tell me if it's real or if it's made up. You've been talking smart up in my head, so I just played up. I first started making music because there was a fine arts festival and they needed someone to represent our church. I know I had a gift in, in creative writing, so I took that idea and there was different categories. There was rap solo, there's dancing, there's singing. And so I came across the rap solo and I was like, let me give this a shot. I'm good at writing, maybe not the best at performing, but let me just take that leap of faith. And so as I began writing, I, it kind of was natural to me. I feel like it was definitely a gift that God has given me. And so I started writing and I liked the way that it sounded and I performed at the uh, Fine Arts Festival and the response I got from people were like, oh, this is really good, like you should keep going. And so that's how I started making music was through that experience. And then through prayer, God really guided me um, with different ideas and different song titles, different topics to talk about. And really all my music comes out of my life experiences, what I'm going through, how God is leading me in life. So when I created my first song, I called it Solar, and it basically just spoke on being the light on this earth. Kind of, that's the whole idea behind Solar. There was basically, it was two songs. It was Solar and Lunar for the eclipses, and it was basically just talking about being the light of Christ in this world. Um, even though people try to cover you up, they try to block you out, it's just shining through that, knowing your worth through Christ. So I just. I sat down, found a beat first, and the way I go about making my songs is I find the instrumental first, and then I come up with melodies, and then I assign words to those melodies. So it all fits together. I took different wordplay, and I illustrated that with the different wordplay, and just made it a creative way to basically say that 
I'm unashamed to follow Jesus. So what sparked me to kind of make the song, or call it Solar, was just go going through high school, I was definitely scared of what others thought about me and my relationship with God. And so I wanted to make a song basically admitting that I'm okay with being a light or I'm okay with shining bright for, for Christ. And so I created that song, Solar, as kind of an anthem. Yeah, I could definitely think of a moment that sparked the song. And that was when, there was one day I was literally in the cafeteria and I had this thought, I was like, if all these other people can be themselves, why can't I shine for Jesus? Why can't I show everybody that I believe in God? Because I definitely went through times in high school where I was scared to share my faith or I was going through doubt. And so this song was basically an anthem, um, just admitting like I'm a light for Christ, which is why I called it Solar. No matter how many people try to block you out, that that light will still shine through. Oh. So I can remember this one moment that I received this huge long message on Instagram. And I remember it was late at night and it was actually on a day where I was feeling really discouraged, um, questioning if I should even stop making music. And the person basically just gave me this whole paragraph saying how one of my songs is called Control really encouraged them. Uh, they were going through a season of doubt where they felt like they were losing control of everything. And my song, they said that it really encouraged them to hold on to God and remember that his ways are higher than ours and to just put our trust in him. And so I just, I remember reading that message and I was like, wow, like this is what I do it for. Like I do it to encourage others in their walk with Christ. And it's not about the numbers or it's not about how many people follow me. It's about pointing them people to him, which was my whole goal. So to see that, to see the fruits of that was just super encouraging. God, I need your help when we go long on Losing all my grip, please take control, oh So yeah, the response to the song was really cool because I got a lot of messages with people saying like, this song is cool, like I get to work out to it or I get to run or I get to play basketball with it, which is the whole goal really because I aim to make songs that people can just have fun to and it has good content. It's not talking about going and killing people or any of that. It's just literally talking about being unashamed of your relationship with Jesus, which is my whole goal. So to see that replicate through the people was like a really encouraging moment, which led me to write more songs and continue to do what I was doing. I walk by faith and not by sight. I give my life to I dream through sleepless nights. I can't deny the truth. I know I gotta believe I'm in constant need of your peace. My favorite composition is definitely my song, Burn For You. And the whole time I was writing, I was like, this is not me, like, this is the Holy Spirit. It was one of those God moments where I just felt like he wrote the whole song. It took me about six different days to make that song. It was funny because the song is about doubt and I was doubting releasing the song because I just couldn't get it right. And then there was one night I prayed before recording and I went to record with my friend. We recorded in his car. It was one of those things where it was just like, I need to record right now. Like, where where can we do this? And so we recorded in the car and it just went so smoothly. Like, he was like, oh my gosh, dude, like, you're killing it. I was like, dude, I know, let's keep going. After recording, I feel like I'm finally being myself. I feel like I'm finally finding my place as an artist of what I want to sound like. And it was just an amazing song. I remember one night before I was going to release it, I was like, I can't release it. I just don't think it's good enough. And then the next day I listened to it again and I was like, wait, this has some true meaning behind it. And I feel like it could help a lot of people. Usually for a song, you have to put it into the website that your distributor at least three weeks for it to fully reach your audience. But for this, I literally did it three days before uh, because I wanted to release it on Good Friday because I felt like the song 
really correlated with what Good Friday meant with Jesus dying on the cross, which is what the Chorus really talks about. It talks about His love for us. It talks about His heart that burns for us. And so I ended up putting it in, and right when the song dropped, it actually made this big Christian playlist on Spotify, New Music Friday Christian. And I remember just completely like bawling my eyes out at home when it happened because I was like, dang, this is something that I wasn't gonna release. Like, look at the faithfulness of God, because he's clearly gonna use this song. And from there, it was just like this snowball effect. Like on TikTok, it started um, picking up some traction. And it was just a bunch of comments of people like, this song is like amazing. Like I needed this song. And not only are the lyrics good, but it has like this upbeat, intense feel where I can go to the gym and just like get everything out. So it was a really cool experience releasing that song, and it's definitely one of my favorites so far. Yeah, uh, look, God, I've been trying to keep you closer, never telling me it's over. How do you the truth in the midst of a battle on my shoulders? All them time spent laying wide awake, my thoughts keep getting colder. But if I take the long road, it helps me keep my clothes out of dream on. God, I'm a lean on. You said it won't be long till all your dreams come true But it's been hard to keep my focus toe to toe My emotions don't know who to put my hope in It feels like every day's the same, you never learn, do you? Don't get confused, ain't what you do, my heart, it burns for you It was on that cross, I paid it all, I took my turn for you And it don't matter if you fall, my heart, it yearns for you My heart, it yearns for you You never learn, learn, learn This love ain't something you can earn, earn, earn I toss my dot and watch it burn, burn, burn my heart is lost for you, yours, yours, yours. My favorite part of the song is actually the verse. There's one line that says, God, I know you real, but sometimes feel like you ain't doing jack, but I won't admit to that. And that was me admitting, even though I don't want to admit to it, that sometimes there is times where I struggle with questioning what God's doing in certain situations. It was just me getting on paper that it's okay to go with God with all your struggles and not everything is all sunshine and rainbows. And so I think it was a really cool moment. And it was definitely something that a lot of people could relate to. A lot of my life growing up in the church, there was kind of like this mask that would go on that I would present myself a certain way at church or be all sunshines and rainbows and then go home and like struggle with things. So it was kind of bridging the gap between those two and just being me. And I'll admit the facts. Sometimes I feel I'm all alone. Emotions counteract. Look at you and wonder your intentions. Do you got my back? Gotta know you real, but sometimes I feel like you ain't doing jack. But I won't admit to that. I ain't tripping on nobody. But I keep stepping on myself. These people don't love me. Good thing they don't need they help. They acting so buddy. They just that up on that show. I can do this on my own. I don't need nobody else. That's a lie. Look me in the mirror face to face with all my pride. I write my problems down. That's how I really speak my mind. And I stay focused on his name I got no one else to blame It feels like every day's the same You never learn, do you? Don't get confused Ain't what you do My heart, it burns for you It was on that cross I paid it all I took my turn for you And it don't matter if you fall My heart, it yearns for you My heart, it yearns for you You never learn, learn, learn This love ain't something you can earn, earn, earn I toss my doubt and watch it burn, burn, burn My heart, it lost for you It yearns, I believe doubt is the essence of faith. And so when we doubt, I, I mean, when I doubt, I find myself going to God with my honest thoughts and just coming to Him as I am and then letting Him guide me and letting Him lead me. I mean, even Jesus doubted on the cross when He said, Father, why have you forsaken me? And so it's part of the human experience, which is why I definitely wanted to talk about it more. You cannot buy the inner leg with the internet. Got at the intersect, I'm and I'm with the enemy. I've been up now with you, baby. She's venomous. Told me, pop down is a red sea of eleven stone. There ain't no limit with anything with this image on it. I cannot skim it, the word of wisdom I'm living on it. So I chose hip hop because at the time when I started making music, I saw that a lot of people liked that genre that were my age. Hip hop is kind of seen as the devil's music. But I disagree with that. I believe that a lot of artists in the hip hop community do talk about the wrong things. So I saw a huge opportunity there to spread the gospel through that. And so 
I started making music, talking about God, talking about my doubt, anxiety, and how I run to God in the midst of all of that. And I just saw it as a great opportunity to just be different. This is where I gotta be. Uh, yeah, we made a way, and that's just how I oughta be. Yeah, X Games mode till I go ahead heavy head the beats. Got the bread and I'm my tizzy to the weight. Uh, so I think music has a huge impact on our faith walk. I believe what we listen to does affect us, whether you believe it or not. In your subconscious, it will translate into your life. So that's always been my goal with my music is to promote my relationship with God, the things I go through, so people can relate to that. I don't miss no serpents, but are you telling me My brother actually sent me an article, and it said basically my generation, the people or person that they look up to is not a political figure, it's not a religious figure, but it's an artist. And so when I heard that, I was like, wow, like God has given me the gift. Uh, basically the key to this generation is to reach them through music. So now with my music, that is my goal to reach the youth and let them know that it's okay to not always be okay, but to look to God through all of that um, as he is our rest place. Uh, he is our savior, so yeah. Free. There was a point uh, in my music career where I tried to make music that didn't necessarily talk about God. It wasn't bad. I felt a little conviction, and I think that was because God gave me this gift to help spread the gospel and not to glorify the things that were going on in my life. That was a moment where I was like, okay, I got to write about what is real to me and that is that Jesus saved my life. And so I started writing songs that had to do with that. And when I started writing them, it just all felt natural. It felt like the words were coming from God and not myself. Oh, you perfect, go ahead and throw the first stone. You left me on the ground, didn't know that I was all alone. I may be deep, but I'm friends with the one who's on the throne. Who am I to think now I can't live my life with any clones? This is amazing, like I'm being used by God. This is not me but this is, this is all going through him. And so as I started to make music uh, on Instagram, it was really picking up a bit. I mean, different artists were sharing me. I was doing challenges that had to do with other Christian artists and my music was being heard. And it was this amazing moment where I was like, okay, God, I see what you're doing through this. And God really convicted me in that moment to start restart making songs that focused on him. And so that's exactly what I did. And after doing that, the songs that I had put out, just the impact that they had was just really amazed me. It was it was beautiful. I also think there's this constant battle between pleasing others and then realizing that you've already been approved by God. Uh, I think so many times I try to find approval from the peers around me when really that's not what I should be focusing on and there's definitely this struggle that I had when I was making music if I wanted to be seen or God wanted to be seen through me and there's a big difference between that. And I think that was a huge shift that I had in my music where I was starting to write songs that people would look at me instead of God. And so when I changed that, I was way more joyful because I was doing this for a greater purpose than myself. I see music as a calling over my life because it was something that was definitely placed by God. And so as I continued to do that, there were definitely people in my life, uh, even some family that were like, what are you doing making music? Like, you're never gonna be able to survive off of that. But 
The truth is it didn't matter what they said because I knew that this was a calling from God, that this was my purpose on earth. I think that often happens a lot where people look at creatives and they're like, get a job or do something that will really impact people, like be a doctor or serve as a minister in the church. But really my form of spreading the gospel is through music. There's an area that doesn't have much going on right now. So I think that's definitely something that if I could encourage someone who's making music right now or wants to start making music is that if God has called you to it, he's going to equip you to it. Just focus on him and focus on that goal that you have in mind. And I promise you, it will not go to waste. Apes on my right side, they coming out the bluff. Cause I'm next up with my chest up. And God said that I'm tough, so you can bet on me. God said to bet on me. Now we don't play, he knows the way, and it's ahead of me. I trust your word, and it's my sword on all my enemies. The truth shall pass right through the glass, and I'ma let them see. Oh, I swear that I told you a million times. Swear that I told you a million times. Part of my sleep, know it's hard to believe, but I know that your truth is a heart of divine. I'm patiently waiting. See, but I'm jaded. Top of my lungs is when you hear me say, Oh, me, my channel master, we find. Staring at this clock, I close my eyes, but I still see time. Every step I take, it got me wishing I could rewind. I could read your feelings, know it's hard for you to read mine. Take some time to realize that I cannot just run for my problems. It takes me and my conscience to solve them. I can't sleep, I can't breathe, I'm too nauseous. I can't step out of trust, I'm too I see music as a calling over my life because growing up I've had a bunch of hobbies but it nothing really ever stuck and then when I started making music it was something that just didn't go away. It was something that I had a deep passion for and it was something that was definitely placed by God and so as I continued to do that there were definitely people in my life uh, even some family that were like, what are you doing making music? Like, you're never gonna be able to survive off of that. But the truth is it didn't matter what they said because I knew that this was a calling from God, that this was my purpose on earth, was to spread his word through my gifting and abilities in music. And so I think that often happens a lot where People look at creatives and they're like, get a job or do something that will really impact people, like be a doctor or serve as a minister in the church. But really, my form of spreading the gospel is through music. And I think that's an area that people really need. Do you know my name? I ain't trying to play no games. There's an area that doesn't have much going on right now. So I think that's definitely something that if I could encourage someone who's making music right now or wants to start making music, is that if God has called you to it, he's going to equip you to it. And so he will continue to pour into you. Just focus on him and focus on that goal that you have in mind because your talents and your giftings, they're very much valued. So just pursue that, pursue what the Lord has put on your heart. And I promise you, it will not go to waste. Maybe she's just not the one I'm thinking it's already done So why do I keep telling myself lies? How do you know my name? So I make a lot of faith-based content And through that content There are definitely negative comments of random people Who just, they literally, will, they'll just type out God's not real And a lot of the times it will be something that You can't change their mind But you can still show them the love of Jesus And so that's definitely something I try to do but it's actually funny because most of the time when they comment, it just helps the algorithm. So my video actually ends up being spread to more people, which is a win for me because more people get to see the gospel through that. So without them even realizing, they're actually helping spread the gospel. So thank you to all the haters out there, really keeping me going. But I think another thing that really keeps me going is I'll get comments where People will be like, I'm not Christian or I don't believe in God, but I love your music, which is really impactful to me because it shows that I'm making high quality art, but it serves the Lord. And it, it will definitely plant a seed into their life, even though they don't believe in God at the current moment. Who knows, maybe they're listening to my music and they just it just gives them a thought in their head, like, what if God is real? And they get to see 
through my life, through my music, what that looks like. And so that's really what keeps me going as an artist. as college approached after prayer I decided to attend college for music because that is something that the Lord has placed on my heart and I knew it was a path that I had to follow and so it was a great two semesters uh, it lasted two semesters but it was a good time because I got to expand my music theory I got to learn new things and then after those two semesters I decided to take a gap semester to really just focus on my relationship with the Lord, but I also realized that I could learn a lot of these things on YouTube. And so I furthered my education on YouTube, just learning more about music and how it works because I really didn't have much of a musical upbringing. After a lot of thought and prayer, uh, I went back to college for a degree in marketing to help assist my music because we live in a day of age where you can't just make music and put it out and expect everybody to hear it. There's definitely a whole strategic layout when it comes to dropping songs and getting people to listen to them. So I'm currently in college for marketing. Uh, I believe that it's going to be a great tool to help get my music out there and when I get my music out there, the gospel is getting out there. I'm currently in college right now, uh, getting a marketing degree, but it is definitely my dream to be able to do music full time for the Lord. It is definitely something that is needed within our generation. And just going through different social media, seeing the response that people have given me through my music, of how it just brought them to God or how it helped them in the search situation just poured life into me. It was something that was like, I need to do this for the rest of my life. So moving forward, I'm looking forward to making a whole bunch of songs, a whole bunch of different projects that are just spirit filled. And I can't wait to see where that leads. Every day's the same, you never learn, do you? Don't get confused, ain't what you do, my heart, it burns for you. It was on that cross, I paid it all, I took my turn for you. All right, that's a wrap on Geo. Sweet, thank you guys for having me, this was awesome. Yeah, dude, thanks for everything. Yes, sir, y'all be blessed. Shout out Shalom World Team. And it don't matter if you find my heart, it yearns for you My heart, it yearns for you You never learn, learn, learn This love is something you can earn, earn, earn I toss my doubt and watch it burn, burn That was amazing That was so good